Hey you guys, welcome back to Lemon Branch. And today we're putting up Christmas lights, but we're not using hooks. So how am I gonna do it? Stick around and we'll find out. Okay, so like many of you, we are actually just renting this house. Um, while we're looking for a house to buy, we're, we're just renting this house and we're not able to put hooks in the walls or screws or anything like that. So uh, we wanted to do some Christmas decorations. So I just got started a little bit and then thought, um, maybe I should hurry and show you guys how I'm actually doing this in case you're in a similar situation where you want to have some Christmas lights up, but you don't want to put hooks into the wall or into the columns or whatever. So let me show you what I'm working on and basically the idea that I have. Okay, so what we basically have is we've got these columns here and uh, I'm gonna show you how I attached them to the top without having to screw into the column. So in our old house, these would wrap like four times around the columns. They were much smaller uh columns but these i'm just gonna make do just kind of as you see so what i'm doing to attach them is up at the top because of the way garland is made it's super easy to use them kind of as twist ties so i just went right around the top of the column as tight as i could with the existing garland and let me show you up on here so i just went as tight as i could and then i'm just using it to fluff you know i just fluff up and around but right here, I just used two of them, and that's one end, and that's another end. And I just got them tight, and then just twisted them just like that, like you would a twist tie. So see, there's there's like no hook or anything up on the top of this, but because these corners are pretty sharp, this garland, if you just take a strand and end of it, uh, once it goes around the corner, it's gonna hold it pretty tight. So I'll grab the other side, and pull it up and so then once I have it tight you know this is the back of the column I can just use some of this other garland to just kind of bring up and kind of fluff it just a little bit towards the top of the column you know I'll play around with this and make it look a little bit better and try and hide it kind of like what I did over there but I'll just kind of keep playing around with it but that's one way to do it so that you just wrap it all the way around and then use a twist tie. Now, I wanted to go across the top of this with these lights, but since I can't put any holes in, I'm just using some clear tape and I'm just gonna position the light straight down and then I just did a little piece of tape over the top of it that uh, won't pull the paint off. So it's kind of like a paint tape, but it's just like a clear plastic tape. And I'll just go all the way across the front making those level like that but the point is on the garland now what helps keep it up is just by wrapping it around the pole each one of the the wraps if you just do it nice and tight around the column it will keep it from sliding up and down and then at the bottom what I'm doing to secure it at the bottom so since I can't since I can't drill or do anything what I actually did is this right here I don't know if you can see I just actually took a long screw and just wrapped it around just like that and then I just happened to have the perfect little place to just kind of stick it in there and just because of the tension on it it's holding and grabbing so it won't come out so hopefully that makes sense so I just did that on that side it's a little hokey but I think it's gonna hold. And uh, so I did it on this side and I did the exact same thing over on this side where I just took a screw and wrapped it, wrapped the garland around the screw and then just stuck it in. So hopefully that'll hold that. And so anyway, that's my solution to having the garland up, wrapping around the poles without having any nails. So I'll finish tacking down those lights and make them straight all the way across the top and then we'll go to the next part. Okay, so I got those lights up and if I zoom in, 
So I got the lights up, and if I zoom in, you, yeah, you can see the tape a little bit, but you know what? It's gonna be just fine. So at least I got the lights across. Uh, that at least spans the width. And the garland is starting to come together. Now, let me show you one thing that I actually like about garland, why I like using garland. Uh, depending on the kind of garland that you get, a lot of garland basically is just a, a metal wire inside of these. And I use these garlands a lot to, if you're doing a railing or whatever, you can just grab one of these strands. You know, you just pull one of the strands out. So let's say my finger was the railing. You can just wrap it right around the railing like that and it'll hold it on to place or into place. Uh, and then I always take the end of it and then just kind of wrap it around, just kind of like a twist tie, right? So you just wrap it around like that. That creates a hook. And that'll hold on to any of your railing or your banisters or anything like that uh, where you don't have to use hooks when you're using these garlands. Uh, the other thing I like about it is, you know, you can kind of place these where you want. And a lot of times they'll just stay depending on the garland that you get. It has to uh, do with the gauge of wire that's inside some of these garlands. But anyway, uh, that's one of the reasons I like using garland around poles um, just to give it some greenery and then it also just kind of stays in place if that makes sense and then you don't have to use any of the the hooks or screws or you know you can put it into a nice wood ban banister without hurting the wood uh, but anyway so far that's kind of what we're doing i'll add a couple more ornaments alongside uh each side of these and uh anyway yeah Okay, so here is my solution and since like I said we're just kind of renting but this is kind of how all of that column worked out and it's holding great without any nails or screws and the only thing I did do is I did tape up and along there and like I said you can see it but at night oh well who cares right it's just to at least have something and then my solution for um, all of the lights because we, we were <laughs> We, I mean, look how, like this house could have some amazing lights up and down around the peaks and everything. But like I said, I can't put clips in. So this is my solution. We got the columns and those are all be lit up and I'll show it again tonight once it gets dark. But you can see the, the lights. I just kind of put them through the bushes. And then we had some other, you know, just trees that we, we had that we just kind of put out and they've got some twinkles to them. And then these are some little lamp posts that, that we picked up. And uh, then the same thing over on this side, I just kind of put some lights in and out of the bushes. It's kind of hard to see on this side though. You sort of see it, but anyway, at night, hopefully they'll look somewhat even. But the other thing that I did, I'll show you what I did over here to keep them all wired up. They're all actually going into this plug. And then this guy here is just one of these cheap little timers. So all of it comes through this timer and I have it set so it'll come on by itself and go off by itself. So it'll come on at like 4.30 in the afternoon when it starts to get dark and then it goes off at midnight. And so I just have those all wired up into this guy. Then from this main hub, I've got those two guys go up underneath and that's what powers the lights in the bushes and then the light there. Then this black cord, I just ran around. I know I didn't hide it very good, but it just goes along the, the mulch over there and that's what powers up the, the tree there and then the, uh, the garlands going up over. So, then um, I'll show you my little junction right here. So that is all coming out of that same timer. I just have a, a three-way plug there. And since I didn't have a really good solution, I'm just leaving it kind of that black. It's just going up against the brick. Hopefully no one trips over it, but I think it's enough out of the way that uh, I don't think it'll matter. And then I have another junction here. One goes to the column and then the other goes to all the lights in the bushes. So hopefully that makes sense what I did, but it's all being run off a timer. So the only uh, area that's really exposed is just the, the line right there by the stairs. But 
it is what it is and I think it'll be fine. We're only in this house for this Christmas. We're not gonna be here again next year because hopefully we'll have our own house. But, uh, but anyway, that's my solution. No nails, no screws. And that is how I did Christmas this year. So um, I'll come back out a little bit later tonight and show you what it looks like there. So anyway, so far so good. If you like it so far, make sure you give me a like and uh, uh, we'll see you in just a minute. Okay, you guys, this is what it looks like in the dark. So this is how it all turned out. And I'm actually pretty happy with it. I think it turned out pretty good considering uh, I only used just a few decorations and uh, I wasn't able to, like I said, put anything on the house. I mean, this house has a lot of potential to do lots of fun stuff with all the peaks and the different levels, but since it's not my house, this is at least my solution, like I said. So this kind of, I'll come up a little bit closer and you can kind of see just kind of how it turned out. So the bushes are all festive. We've got the twinkling those little trees and then there's the little lanterns how they turned out that's pretty cool and then we got all of these here so I think it turned out pretty good so thanks you guys for joining me on this one it uh, wasn't too bad of a project it was pretty simple it turned out pretty good so thank you so much if you did like it give us a like make sure you subscribe for more content and we will see you on the next one